hello everyone welcome to my channel and in this video i will be showing you how you can set up a tp-link wi-fi router so if you have a wi-fi router from tp-link and you want to set it up but uh, you don't know how to do it in this video i will be showing you how you can do it so let's start so here here are the few things that uh, first you need to be aware of in order to do this setup. So first is some required information about your router that is router's IP address and uh, login ID and password. You can find these things uh, on the box of the router. It will be somewhere behind where all the information about the router hardware is and then another thing is that information about your internet connection so uh, you must know the type of your internet connection login id and password if uh, they have provided you any login id and password and the mac address that is registered with your account okay if you don't uh, know about any of these three things just uh, call the customer care center of your uh, ISP and uh, ask them uh, they will help you, help you out with this so let's start with our process so if you can find the IP address of your router on the box then just open network and sharing center and uh, click on this ethernet or whatever it says that will open this uh, ethernet status and click on the details here search for the default gateway here it says IPv4 default gateway 192.168.1.1 in someone's case it may be 192.168.0.1 don't worry just remember this IP address because we are going to use this okay so now we are ready we will open the Google Chrome okay browser. so now I'm going to type the IP address of my router and hit enter So now this page is loaded. Uh, this is the web page of my Wi-Fi router. The model that I am using is this TLWR1043ND. Don't worry if you find a different kind of uh, interface of this web page, like uh, different kind of colors or something like that. Don't worry, you will be prompted to enter the username over here and the password. Well, in case of my router, it is admin for username in small letters and also admin in small letters for password now I'll hit login and this opens up so here this is the status page of the router now uh, this router that I am using is uh, quite old I think more than three to four years old so uh, depend, uh, depending upon that time this is the kind of interface that I have if you have a new router like from this year or maybe last year's the interface may be a bit different it may be different in look but uh, I'm sure about this uh, these settings that you see on the left side uh, they will be there I guess and you can find them easily I would say so what you have to find first is the network settings and under the network settings the WAN settings I hope you will be able to find this out this is easy nothing difficult should I say uh, the WAN settings okay so now here uh, the thing that I was talking about the type of your internet connection alright so here you will have to select the type of internet connection that you are having so dynamic IP for a dynamic IP connection static IP if you have that static IP address provided by your internet service provider if you have this triple PoE connection or Russia triple PoE select that if you have rest of these the three then select the one which is appropriate for you for most of the users I'm sure it will be triple PoE if uh, you have not uh, you know registered for static IP yeah, in India, like for GDPL customers, for Act Fibernet customers, and um, a lot of other customers, I'm, I'm not sure, but it is PPPoE. Only for Reliance Broadband, it is Dynamic IP. 
so select the one that is appropriate for your connection okay or if you have this kind of option to detect then you can use this too so what it will do is it will detect uh, uh, you know it will detect the connection type as you can see it detected and it is correct automatically so this is also convenient right now if you have this PBVOE connection you will have to type the uh, username and password that is provided by your internet service provider uh, according to your account all right so I'll just do that so here I just type the username and password now what I'll do is uh, I'll change this mode into connect on demand and uh, I'll set this time to zero I like it I like it this way so I will hit uh, save okay, so I think the setting is saved yes the settings are saved I'll not click the connect because I need to change one more setting that I'll be showing you later on so I just saved these settings now here we are done with the internet setup so uh, what I mean by that is uh, you have uh, applied the uh, you have set up the internet options or internet settings on your router so you are good for that now router we have the Wi-Fi network right so we will have to set up our Wi-Fi network too. So you will have to find wireless settings uh, on this uh, web page. So over here I have opened the wireless settings and uh, now we will set up our Wi-Fi network. So first of all wireless network name, type in any name that you want to uh, keep for your Wi-Fi network so I will type this ASV and check the region so we are in India now wireless channel keep this on automatic you don't need to do anything with this mode BGN mixed okay channel width automatic maximum transmission rate automatic whatever enable wireless router radio checked okay now save these settings here it says selecting the incorrect country may cause interference to other devices and violate the applicable law it's okay I am in India here it says uh, the change of wireless configuration will not take until the reboot so I'm not going to reboot it right now so here I'll set the name but uh, I also want to set a password for my Wi-Fi network so that other people can't access it without the password right so here now under the wireless section you will have to find for wireless security or wireless encryption whatever the name may be find it yourself and here under the wireless security as you can see it is disabled right now so I'm going to set up a Wi-Fi password real quick so here WPA or WPA2 personal I recommend this and click the WPA2 with uh, AES okay and type a password okay so here if you type the password now then save the setting okay and it, it does require a reboot now here we are done with the internet setup and also the Wi-Fi network setup but there is one thing that is remaining for the uh, internet users of this kind of connection type that, that is PVPoE or maybe even dynamic IP connection type is this Mac clone now what is this it is that uh, you have to show over here or you have to write the right Mac address over here or your internet connection will not work on your router so I'm assuming that uh, before getting the router you were using the internet on your laptop or on your personal desktop computer right and uh, 
uh, while purchasing your internet connection the guy the guy from the isp that came and set you up with the internet used that computer right so what i'm trying to say is that while that setup process during that first time setup process the mac address of the computer that was used was registered onto the internet service providers uh, servers okay so you you yes you will have to uh, use that same mac address so in my case this is my laptop computer and uh, the mac address of the lan port was registered on the servers which is this so i will have to use this mac address for that purpose so that they uh, so that the you know servers uh, from my internet service provider can identify uh, that uh, you know this is from from my account whatever but you will have to use the mac address okay i will click save and now if i try to connect it it should work see connected with the internet as you can see i have assigned the ip address mask gateway let me just show you by opening a web browser google.com it works fine easy even the youtube works okay it is working fine so we are having the internet right now now it is time to reboot your router in order to change all the settings that you have just made okay so now the router is being rebooted you will have to wait till it reboots my router just rebooted and everything is fine the internet is working and also the wi-fi network is showing internet is working fine so here it completes the setup process we got the internet we got the wi-fi thank you for watching this video guys i hope you found this video helpful and I hope that it helped you setting up your TP-Link Wi-Fi router. If you have any queries regarding this setup process, please let me know down in the comment section or you can even uh, tweet me on the Twitter. I, I, I don't uh, tweet on Twitter every day, but if you tweet me, I'll definitely respond to your tweet. Otherwise, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, you can ask any questions regarding this video in the comment section down below.